Hi guys, last night I was working on this toy grade receiver, 27 megahertz. I replaced two of the transistors here which were in the H bridge because I'd burnt them out by putting too much current through them. And that worked, that was successful. There'll be a video link in the video description so you can look at that. I mean, it's fairly straightforward, it's just me taking those two transistors out and replacing them. And that got it working. That particular board was in pretty poor condi condition. It had had a fair bit of corrosion on it from the batteries leaking. Anyway, that one's working. If you've watched some of my other videos, you might know that I bought this 2.4 gigahertz receiver and transmitter kit. Successfully transferred it into one car and it worked fine. Put it in another car and it stopped working. Um, it just wouldn't bind. If I switch it on, you see we've got flashing LED here. Switch this one on. Permanent glow. What should happen is this one should go to permanent glow when it binds. And in fact, that one should be flashing when it's in use. Anyway, for some reason, it just stopped. It wouldn't bind anymore. So I've done a, one or two videos. Uh, I did one where I put my USB microscope on it and had a look to see if we could see any dry joints or cracks in the circuit board. I've re-soldered lots of the terminations, including quite a few of the surface mounts, just where they looked like they may not have been a perfect solder joint. But that's made no difference. One of the questions I had was what voltage was this supposed to run on? And it's on the listing, it says 6 volts, 7.6 maximum. And as you'll see here, I've got five AA batteries, which potentially could be uh, 7.5 volts. Or you get into a long discussion about how they are higher voltage when they're fresh and lower voltage when they're a bit old. So, I happen to have my meter here. So, if we go across positive, negative, is the meter in the screen? Yes. Okay, 6.3 volts at the moment coming out of this set. So, they run down a little bit. Uh, in fact, if I turn it off, I think that's off. Just check it, no load. Yeah, 6.6 .6 volts, no load. And then when we switch it on, obviously it's drawing a bit of current. And we're dropping 6.29, 6.28. So we're over the 6 volts, but we're below the 7.6 maximum. Uh, next thing is, obviously this will have some sort of voltage regulator on it to drop it down to the operating voltage for the chips because the main voltage is going to go through this H bridge or these H bridges to feed the motors so that will be full voltage there but it should be lower voltage on the chip and I traced around uh, Let's have a look again. So that's me. Negative. I'm trying to remember now which one I decided was the voltage regulator. We've got 3.3 volts there, I think we can see. So, how did I track that? I can't remember now. That was the 6 volts. 3.3 there. Uh, 2.8 down there. I don't know which is the actual power feed in. Not 
that one. So about 2.2 .2 down there. Choosing some fairly random points. 1.8 there. From which side to side? 3.3 there. Mm, so we're getting voltage reduced into the um, circuitry here. The next thing was can I actually prove whether these uh, power transistors as I like to call them, uh, what are these field effect trans transistors, D195, 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 I think those are D196s there. I can't quite see. But those are definitely D195s along there. Anyway, those are the ones that will connect the full power through to the motors. So if we can activate them, then the motors will run. Which will prove whether I've actually killed the... Um, H bridge because that's what I usually do. I usually put too much voltage through and it kills the H bridge. The circuitry stays okay because that's protected by voltage regulator, but the full current goes through the H bridge and burns out. Anyway, playing around with this and this control chip doesn't have a number on it, so I've had to do a bit of guesswork. If I go Make sure we can see the motors. If I use that point as a reference and go on that one, you'll see that motor runs. So that's operating the H bridge. And if I do that one, that does the opposite way. And if I do that one, it's got the other motor going. If I do that one, it turns it the opposite direction. So unusually for me, I haven't killed the H bridge. So I don't know what is wrong with this. It just seems it's still in working condition, but it won't bind. So no matter what I do to this, This is not seeing that, or that is not seeing this. So I'm no further forwards other than I do know that I've got a useful H-bridge here, if nothing else. And I could potentially use that part of the circuit on something like that when I kill the H-bridge on one of them. There's quite a few videos of people doing Arduino projects where they use an old... Uh, toy grade receiver board so they can actually make use of the H bridge so I won't put any links to that you can search for that Arduino and H bridge and you'll find the videos so that bit's okay power's going in okay but it's not binding so there may be something else is burnt out but there's nothing visual there there's no obviously popped um, circuit uh, components hey thanks for watching there's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases you can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on patreon to buy me coffee you can always find more information in the video description thanks again for watching